Hi everybody, Alex Shaker here and this is part four of the GAIN website SEO series and I'm going to continue where I left off. Now in the first video I revealed Google's formula which is that Google rewards high quality websites with compelling relevant and dynamic content that people stay to read or view, come back to over and over again, share on their social networks and that other good sites refer to. And as I said I'm covering every element of this formula in all my videos. So in the first video, uh, excuse me, in the second video I showed you what a high quality website is in the eyes of Google and then in the third video I revealed what is compelling relevant and dynamic content and this in this video I'm going to cover how Google determines whether people are staying to read or view your content whether they are coming back to it over and over again. Alright, so let's get started. So a lot is determined by the time that people spend on your site. Google has ways to determine that. You can also tell how much time people are spending on your site if you have any kind of analytics installed. For example, I highly recommend if you don't have Google Analytics installed, install that on your on your website it's very easy to do Google gives you this free um, software and free analysis tool that uh, I think every person should take advantage of there are some folks uh, and as an aside there are some folks that feel that they don't want to install Google Analytics because they don't want Google to know what's uh, you know how many people are coming to their site and you know, know kind of all the stats of the site well um, you know there's always going to be conspiracy theorists out there but uh, let me tell you something it's better to show Google what you've got and let them easily read it by installing their software than letting them guess your site is going to rank much higher if Google can see the numbers and there's no way to cheat Google anyway. There's very few ways to cheat with Google anyway. So uh, you're better off using Google's software. And using that software, you'll be able to tell what the bounce rate is and how long people are staying on your site. This is a big determinant of whether or not your site is um, a quality site. Google feels that the more time people spend on your site, the higher the quality it must be. So that's one criteria that they use to determine the quality of your site. Number of repeat visitors. This is also very important. Now the way Google determines this is whenever uh, people uh, go to a website uh, they place a cookie on the person's uh, computer and whenever people come back for a visit to the website they know that it's a repeat visitor because they're coming from the same IP location. So the time that a visitor spends on the site and the number of times they come back to over and over again is being determined by Google. And one way you can help Google determine that is to make sure you have their analytics software on your website. Bounce rate is another thing. Bounce rate is defined by anyone that comes to the home page of your website or the first page of your website and does not go anywhere else except exit. If they don't go any deeper in your website than the first page that they encounter, then that's considered a bounce. Even if they stay on that page a long time, if they don't view any other page, that's going to cons be considered a bounce. Now, if you have good content on your site and people stay on the first page to read a lot, then um, the time that they spend on the first page will be considered good but if people come to your site and within 10 seconds they leave or go to another website then that's considered a high bounce rate and Google thinks that your website does not have high quality content. Google believes that a high bounce rate is caused by either content that is not relevant to what what the visitors are, are looking for were searching for when they entered the particular keyword or your navigation is not good so visitors don't know where to go or they're confused or uh, they have found whatever they're looking for on the home page of your website or on the first page of your website so um, and it determines whether or not 
visitors have found what they're looking for by the amount of time that they're spending on the first page. All right. Now, a quick hint here. There's a lot of web design outfits that build one-page websites. Now, they might try to sell you on this. It's very easy to build, but don't get one-page websites because if you have one-page websites, it essentially means that you're going to have almost a 100% bounce rate because there's nowhere else for people to go. No matter what they click, they're always going to stay on the, on the, on the, on, on the first page. So there's no click-through rate, and there's nothing other than a bounce. Uh, these are going to be considered low-quality websites, and you're setting yourself up to rank low in Google if you have a one-page website. So have multiple pages. Have at least six pages. Now, if you have interesting and fresh content, uh, and you're constantly changing that, then people are going to stay and read. And they're going to be repeat visitors because if you have fresh content, that means even the repeat visitors will not have seen it and they're going to come back and want to read that content. That's why you'll hear a lot about people that are doing blogs on their site uh, because blogs allow people to, to put more content on their site and fresh content on their site on a daily or weekly basis. And that's a really good practice to do uh, if you've got the inclination. Uh, you may also want to send out email to subscribers whenever there's new content so you can get them to be repeat visitors for you. So it's also a good idea to collect emails and to ask people uh, or to put, put in a short form on your website that says, hey, sign up uh, for our, uh, uh, our free email and where we will inform you of any new content that comes on this site. And you'll be surprised at the number of people that will sign up for that. If you really have good, compelling, and fresh content, people will want to see it. Now, more and more now, Google is looking at how your website is designed for mobile. If you don't have a responsive website, if your website looks like a miniature version of your website on your computer, then Google is going to view that as a mobile unfriendly website. So it has become really important for websites to be viewed well on iPhones, Android phones, any kind of smartphone, and any kind of device. So you want to design your website, or if your website is more than, I'd say, you know, three or four years old, likely it is not a responsive website and is not designed for mobile. So I highly recommend you, you get it designed for mobile, not only because you're going to rank higher in Google, but about 55% of all websites are now being viewed on mobile devices. And if your website is not friendly for mobile, you're basically ignoring this 55%. And I believe that percentage is going to get higher, and I believe that percentage is going to go to 80 90% over the next five years. So if your website is not designed for mobile right now, <clears throat> you're going to have to do it uh, in, in the short-term future. So think about that, and it is a ranking factor. CTR. CTR means click-through rate. Now, what this means is getting people to do something when they come to your website. So, for example, people are coming to your website either to get information, to sign up for something, or to buy something. If you're not getting them to do one of these three things, you should. Uh, think about how you can get people to click on something that gets them the information that they want, um, gets them to sign up for something. Maybe you've got a newsletter or you just want them to sign up and uh, inform them whenever you have new content or maybe you want them to buy something get them to click on something what you want is people when they come to your first page to immediately then go to another page on your website so give them a large button like this type of button here it says buy risk free so it doesn't have to be something you buy but you can make a similar button that says something like sign up for our free newsletter now you can say something like get the latest info on the latest website design concepts. Whatever it is that your expertise is in, whatever it is that your website is all about. So I've covered the basics of how to get people to stay or view and come back to over and over again. There's a lot more to this, obviously, and I'll show you how you can get my videos that will cover this in a lot more detail. So that's all I have for now. Thanks for watching. All the best. Take care.